All right. We have an n equals 4 wave function. Let's draw that out. It's basically asking about the nodes. So 0 to L. It's the x-axis. This is psi. There's how many nodes for n equals 4? 3. 3. 1, 2, 3. There it is. It wants to know uh, where's the highest probability of finding an electron. So when you're talking about probability, you want to change this to psi squared versus x. So now I'm going to do psi squared. So I'm going to redraw everything going up. There's still the same number of nodes. Like that. Okay, so I just redrew it, everything going up. These high points right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4, represent where I'm most likely to find an electron. Okay? So actually, I wanted those points on the axis. So let's start with uh, these points here. This is L over 2, halfway right in the middle. Half of L over 2 is going to be L over 4. And halfway between L over 2 and L is 3L over 4. Is that part okay? So I'm just getting where the nodes are. It's not quite what my question wants. My question wants the peaks. I'm just going to get the nodes first. So now it just depends how good you are with fraction addition. So what's halfway between 0 and L over 4? Yeah, this, this point right here, which represents the first peak, is L over 8. What's halfway between L over 4 and L over 2? 3L over 8. So this point right here is 3L over 8. L over 2 and 3L over 4? Yeah, this is going to be 5L over 8. And the last one, 7L over 8. So your peaks are all on those points, and you'll see this is a multiple choice question. It looks like it's C. Does that work? That's one of the four possible points. Okay.